<clears throat> Hail is a pretty fun move, I must say. So is Rest, if you can actually put on good Pokemon. Be a good use for Snore. Um... In fact, I actually remember teaching that to an old Tauros I had used on my team. What's up here? I believe this is actually the way out of the cave, which I don't want to go to yet. So, give me a minute. Let's actually go back down here and take care of this ice puzzle. This very easy ice puzzle. Look at that, that was a simple ice puzzle. And we actually get an iron. So, one to increase attack and one to increase defense. So, I think the attack is going to go also to top girl. She'll probably need attack more than anyone else in the team. And the iron, the iron will do good for... Put Zubidork, why not? Might as well. Make him kind of a tank. In his own respect. Na, 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 na. Jeez, it's usually I have a little bit more pain at least than... Wait a minute, what the hell? You're not supposed to be able to find Jinx in Crystal, right? Uh-huh. Wait, you can't find Jinx in Crystal, what the hell is this? Are you kidding me? I could have found Jinx this entire time? Oh, that's bullshit, I wanted to use a Jinx before this. Must only be in the deeper sections. God damn it, I never knew that. Or maybe it's Deli Bird you can't get. Actually, you know what? It probably is Deli Bird you can't get in Crystal. Uh, there's always things like that. <clears throat> and honestly, Pokemon Yellow was one of those games where it was like, hey, you get to use all three starters in the game, which was cool. In this game, Pokemon Crystal, not only do you not get to use all three starters, but there's Pokemon that are in Summon games that you can't even get in Crystal. So in other words, Crystal's entirely useless other than being a side game. You literally get every single Pokemon in those other two games that you could possibly get in Crystal. There's no one else that you can get. Don't tell me Suicune or any of that crap. You can find Suicune just randomly in the wild in the other two. Here, you actually have to make an honest effort. And oh my god, I forgot to go... Wow. I just totally forgot about that, didn't I? Holy shit. I was supposed to go to the Tin Tower, wasn't I? Wow. How on earth did I forget that? Holy crap. That just crossed my mind right now. Oh my god. I went through the entire cave not realizing... That I was supposed to go to the Tin Tower? Alright, well, here's the Tin Tower. And this guy would usually... Okay, no, he still is blocking your way. A massive event has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Ah! The sound of a clear bell. It, it's sublime. I have never heard so beautiful a sound before. That bell's chime is indicative of the bearer's soul. You. You may be able to make it through Tin Tower. Please do go on. Mm-hmm. It's making it sound like it's really hard to get through Tin Tower. It, it, it isn't hard at all to get through Tin Tower. It's pretty much a cinch to get through Tin Tower. But, I actually need to check something. How many balls do I got? I got plenty. Alright. Um... <clears throat> let's go with Black Star. Yeah, I'll keep him out for... Actually, you know what? Better yet, we need to train up Ivy Heroes, so I'm actually going to throw him out front. Quick save, and we've actually been playing for 28 hours. Most of that has been speeding up and uh, grinding Black Star as well as Robot Guy Dance, but oh well. Legend has it that upon the emergence of a trainer who has the ability to touch the souls of Pokemon, a Pokemon will come forth to put that trainer to test the Tin Tower. The legend has come true. The legendary Pokemon Suicune has arrived. We, the Watch Trio, should test you to worthiness to go inside. <clears throat> well, that seems to be what's going on at Tin Tower. Looks like Suicune has made a appearance. That is not good. Sage Goku wants a battle with Noctowl. I know it was Goku, but I'm going to call him Goku. So each of them are going to send out a Noctowl and then one of the evolutions. That's pretty much all they're going to send out. And it looks like this guy has really good special defense. I should have known because I'm training a Noctowl, so who knows. 
Maybe I'm just an idiot. Let's use Rain Dance. That'll be a good move, Privy Heroes. Son of a bitch, that's a bad move, Privy Heroes. Um, let's use in our pack. We got to wake his ass up. Use a full heal on him now. Awaken! Reflect? Seriously, please don't tell me. Yeah, that's defense, so. That's actually a smart move considering his bad defenses, but. Surf with the aid of, uh. Type advantage and with the aid of an item on it, with the aid of Rain Dance, pretty much makes us broken. Bam. That actually didn't do too much damage. Not nearly as much as I would have liked it to do. Ice Punch. Down he went. But luckily the Surf will be able to pretty much one hit his next Pokemon as long as it's not Vaporeon. But what are the chances of it being Vaporeon? See his player. Ah, uh, you, you almost thought I actually knew there. Now, now I knew it was Flareon. So, Surf. Yeah, this thing's gonna be one hit. No chance. So I've actually been playing a little Pokemon XD on the side by myself. And I've been using Jolteon. Usually I use Umbreon, but for a while I've been using Jolteon. And honestly, whenever I actually decide to let's play that game, I'm kind of at a loss here about who I should use. Because... I've used Umbreon a lot, but, you know, oh, I probably should be reading this, eh, I don't even care anymore. I'll read the first quotes, just not the end quotes. Can you be trusted with the truth? I must ascertain your worthiness. Your worthliness. <laughs> that was a good word. Your worthliness. And Sage Masa. That is somewhat racist. Don't know what I'm talking about? Don't watch Root. Well, actually, watch Root. Root is a good uh, series. It's a great mini series. But, as I was saying, you know, the whole, uh. Hmm. What the hell was I saying again? Son of a bitch. I just totally forgot again. Oh, uh, stop pecking. Okay, I know I was talking about something important. God, I get sidetracked a lot. Uh, oh yeah, Pokemon XD. I'm, I'm at a loss for what I should use as my starter in that game. I'm thinking about Jolteon or Umbreon. I can't decide between the two. In that game, there's a lot of Pokemon that come with moves they don't usually have uh, by generally leveling up. And one of the moves that uh, you, you start out with as an Eevee, you start out with actually knowing uh, Fight. Which is pretty damn awesome, because I know for a fact Eevee doesn't just naturally learn that. At least not at level 10, which is when you're given him. And please don't go faster than me, son of a bitch. Well, it's only Thundershock, that won't kill me. Right? Oh damn, I forgot. Jolteon has friggin' high special attack. And that's one of the reasons why I really like Jolteon. Jolteon is pretty much just a sweeper. Even has really good defense. I don't know why, but Jolteon is just really good. But honestly, I feel kind of bad, because I'd like to use Umbreon. Because Umbreon is pretty much known for having awesome special defense and special and just regular defense. But, uh, as Chugga put it, pretty much if you use him, all he's ever going to use is Bite. And I find that very true, because that's pretty much all he's ever going to use. I mean, I teach him moves later, of course, but that'd pretty much be all he does. At least Jolteon learns Thunder Shock at an early level. But I don't know what's overdone or not. I'm pretty sure Umbreon is, like, the most overdone in that game. And I really would love to use both. In fact, both would be awesome, but the fact of the matter is I can't trade in another Pokemon. If I could, then I definitely would trade in Eevee from, like, Fire Red. And, like, let him level up into, uh... Jolteon, the other one level up into the other one. And hey, Body Slam, awesome. But the fact of the matter is, that's just not always possible. Yeah, get rid of Headbutt. Fuck Headbutt. I got Body Slam. Body Slam is an awesome move. Probably one of my favorite normal attacking moves. Mm-hmm. There were two nine-tier towers here. Brass Tower, which awakens... <clears throat> the tin power. 
Oh my god, how long are you going to talk? Uh-huh. 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 Okay, thank you. Now, please tell me... What do you gotta say? <coughs> Let me show you my power. Power! I'm also playing Pokemon Chamber of Secrets. I guess I could talk about that. And I'm having a lot of fun playing that. Because honestly, it's been so long since I played that. I was actually thinking about uh, not doing so. And then coming back later on when I was actually about to do the game. And doing it blind. Well, almost. Oh, completely blind. Because it has been forever. For friggin' ever since I played that game. I only beat it like once or twice. And uh, it's pretty much very interesting for a game wise like like playing it again I can see all the interesting qualities it has like for example it's a lot of secret finding which makes sense I mean Hogwarts is pretty much just a friggin maze of shit as they constantly say throughout the series of books and everything so that's pretty much all it is just like run all over the place a lot of secret finding but it also involves a lot of spellcasting, which I completely forgot about, like, I forgot that the game does require a shitload of spellcasting and a lot of, a lot of puzzle solving. It actually is a really fun game. Really fun little game, but, I don't know. Man, I really wish that fucker would call and tell me he's got a water stone for me. Seriously, no one's calling. I honestly am tempted to just delete every single number except his, so he'll Give me the stone. Let's try at least life. Taco should pretty much be able to handle this before I know challenge, unless it starts using that shit, like sand attack. God, I hate sand. Oh no, I forgot. Vaporeon has the frickin' defense of a. Well, actually, no. Vaporeon doesn't have that great defense. It just has so much attack. And pretty much with lowered uh, accuracy. I'm going to have to resort to scratching. Fury Cutter is too much of a risk at this point. See, look, even Scratch missed. And woke up really fast. That was fair. Son of a bitch, Sand Attack. You know what? I got Spore for days, so don't even think I, I won't. Don't think I won't, because I will. Scratch. Now I'm out of water. Darn it. My throat's going to be stupid now. Oh my god. You know what? Why even bother? Switch to someone else. Um, let's go for Black Star. Why not? We'll take her down, literally and figuratively. Or him down. Why do I keep saying her? Probably because whenever I think of the Evolutions, the one I most think of as girls are Espeon and uh, Vaporeon. I don't know why. I just see like a female in those two. I see Flareon, Umbreon, and like Jolteon being boys. Which isn't a bad thing. I really like Vaporeon. Espeon, not so much. I don't know. It just seems like another run of the mill psychic type. High special attack, low everything else, pretty much. Which is good. You know, like, decent speed, too, but I don't know. It just seems like there's others. The other ones just seem to make their own, like, really interesting, uh, way of battling. Like, for example, Flareon. He doesn't actually have the highest special attack, but his regular attack is just amazing. You. Are you a trainer awaited by the legendary Pokemon? I see. We the West Trio, we have been given the responsibility of protecting the legendary Pokemon. We are to allow passenger only to those people who possess the power of soul and truth. Please do go on and enter the Tin Tower Head, so we can put you to the test. Thank you for moving out of my way, dumb old men. So, before you enter the building that is known as the Tin Tower, one very last thing you need to do is save. Because we are, if you did not guess it, about to fight the legendary ass himself, Suicune. Now, here's what I'm thinking. If I start out with Ivy Heroes, he'll be able to resist most everything, and if I can continue Ice Punching, I may eventually freeze him. And if I can freeze him, that'll pretty much be awesome and perfect. Um, also, I could use Super Dork, possibly burning him. I could use Black Star, put him to sleep. If I could use Top Girl and put him to sleep. So there's a couple different things I could do. But, let's just go... And there they are. Raiko, bye.
Entei. Bye. Can I use Raikou? Raikou is definitely my favorite of the three. If you can't tell, Electric and Grass generally are my favorite types. I don't know why. They just seem the most strategic. Alright. Rain Dance is only help him, so let's just result in ice punching. Go ahead, does ship or dat? When the fuck does that ever work that fast? Okay, um, thank you, game, for making that go incredibly fast. Now pretty much he's a joke to catch if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't know for certain, but here's hoping he is a joke to catch now. Or not, no, he can break out when he's frozen solid. At least by he can break out in his sleep, but the fact that he can break out when he's frozen solid. Oh boy. Oh man, Suicune's pretty much just a tank of a Pokemon. There's nothing much you're going to be able to do to him when it comes to how friggin' high his defenses are. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, I better actually continue to uh, deal some damage. Body slam, at least. If worse comes to worse, I can paralyze him once he unthaws. But it does take a while for a Pokemon to unthaw. This music's so awesome. And that was a critical hit. He's still frozen solid. Alright, if I don't catch him here, that'd just be sad. Honestly, he's pretty much a joke at this point. This is actually really sad. Uh, well, he broke three. Bastard. He's still frozen solid. This guy's an idiot. How am I faster than him, too? And he's still frozen solid. One more Ultra Ball left before I have to start chucking Great Balls and spraying hope. Alright, he's frozen and he's in red health. There's no way this shouldn't catch. Okay, what the fuck? God, I wish I had my Game Boy on my side so I could do the AB glitch. Or the AB trick. Whatever it's called. Yeah, people don't believe in it, I believe in it full-heartedly. All I see is Chugga getting his ass kicked whenever he tries to catch the friggin' Shadow Pokemon. I go to XD, start using the AB trick, I catch almost every single one of them in the first or second try. Son of a bitch, Suicune. You're frozen and you're in red hell. How low do I have to make your goddamn HP? Ice Punch. There you go. He's still frozen solid. Alright, you... Poor Suicune, he doesn't get to do anything. I guess I really shouldn't be so angry, I mean, I feel bad for the damn thing. He's just frozen solid, and all I'm doing is throwing balls at him. He's still frozen solid, oh my god, this poor bastard. Frost is really the worst status effect you can have afflicted to you. Because it really does screw you over like this. In fact, I don't even think he can unfreeze, unless Fire Move hits him. Why the fuck is he breaking away so easily? He's frozen solid! Son of a bitch, AB cheat. Let's try it on the computer and see if it works. Nope, it definitely does not work on the computer. He's still frozen solid. What the fuck? Ice Punch. Alright, look how low your health is now. Look at that! Look at it! There's no way this should not fail another eight times in a row. In fact, let's make a save stage just in case it does. Never mind. But Spiku was in fact caught. This divine Pokemon blows around the world, always in search of a pure wizard. So what should I call this thing? I actually have no idea what I should call him. I could call him after another, uh, Let's Player, but who the hell could I call him after? Huh. I don't know. I will think of that later, I guess. Unless someone else wants to send in an idea for what I should call Sweeping. That'd be a smart idea. Awesome. Too awesome, even. I've never seen a battle that great. That was truly inspiring to see. Sweeping was tough, but you were even more incredible, Ross. I heard Sweeping's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokemon. Maybe just maybe, what went on today will cause that Pokemon to appear. I'm going to study the legends more. Thanks for showing me that fantastic battle. Later, Ross. Holy shit, it's Tully Fisher. Oh my god, this would be awesome. 
What a perfect day for fishing. We should get a son of a bitch! Tully! Tully! You ass mongrel. I hate you so much. When the brass tower burned down, three nameless Pokemon were said to have perished. It was tragic. However, rainbow colored Pokemon, in other words, Ho oh, oh, descended from the sky and gave new life to the three Pokemon. They are Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. That's what they say. According to legend, when the souls of Pokemon that come to conform from the heavens descend a Pokemon of rainbow colors. Does it mean that the legendary Pokemon are testing our humans? Two towers are said to have been built to foster French and hope between Pokemon and people. That was 700 years ago, but the ideal still remains important today. And that's how it is. Well guys, we have officially caught our nice shiny legendary Pokemon, except he's not shiny. Well, you can pretend he is, but he's, he really isn't. Let's actually head over to Blackthorn City and see what's what. I, I already made that joke, stop making that joke. Alright, um, deposit Pokemon. Actually, you know what, let's, uh, let's see what the speaking room looks like. So he comes with Leer, Bubble Beam, Rain Dance, and Gust. Other, in other words, not a very good move pool, but uh, that can be fixed. And also, look at those goddamn stats. First off, the special attack's pretty damn nice, and so is the speed, but the real thing to look at is that defense and special defense. He is honestly a tank of a Pokemon. Also, 141 HP, because most legendaries get that much HP. That's honestly why speaking, I highly recommend for your team if you were thinking about using him. However, I'm going to stick to the Pokemon I got because that is a lot more legitimate. Tee hee. Now, let's see what these guys have. Deep inside the something indigo plateau, we hear the best trainer, blah blah blah, shut the fuck up. Something, move the leader. Oh yeah, the move the leader's in this town, isn't it? It's really weird why the move the leader's so far in the damn game. I don't know why. But anyway, I grew voice in my head, huh? I'm listening to my radio. <clears throat> well, what shall we do next? I don't even know. Maybe there's something over here. Who knows? Oh, hey, what's this guy have to say? Claire, our gym leader, is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for Run the Mill Trainer to win. It looks like we've got our eighth gym on the hand. Blackthorn City Pokemon Gym Leader Claire, the blessed user of Dragon Pokemon. Uh oh, Dragon. Well, looks like Robot Guy Dance is going to be getting some use. <laughs> So next time on Pokemon Crystal, I'm going to do a little off-screen training to get everyone up to at least level 36, and we're going to take on Claire, the Dragon-type trainer. See you guys for that next time. Bye.